the ocean, a vast and unpredictable force, can unleash towering waves that dwarf even the mightiest ships. But amidst this watery chaos, the U.S. Navy's aircraft carriers seemingly defy gravity, riding out the storm. So how do these behemoths of the sea remain afloat when even experienced sailors cower before monstrous waves? What secret technology allows them to stay afloat while lesser vessels succumb? Is it just sheer size? Or does a deeper understanding of physics and engineering come into play? Dive with us into the fascinating world of naval technology and discover why monster waves can't sink U.S. Navy's largest aircraft carriers during rough seas. The menace of monster waves on naval operations. Extreme weather is the biggest threat to ships at sea, and the most powerful weapon it uses is the wave. These towering walls of water, whipped up by wind and storms, can easily destroy even the strongest ships. Life on the open ocean is always precarious, with conditions far more dangerous than the calm harbor most people are familiar with. One big danger for Navy sailors on long missions is the unpredictability of the ocean. The wind is the main force driving weather at sea, and it creates currents that can quickly turn calm waters into a raging storm. Imagine a giant wave, taller than any building, rising like a monster on the horizon. Its churning base hides unseen dangers like sharp rocks, hidden shoals, and the depths of the ocean ready to swallow its next victim. When this wave crashes into a ship, it's not just a wall of water, it's a battering ram and a giant hydraulic press all at once. The force of the wave can crack even the strongest ship's hull, sending wood flying and water gushing in. But waves don't just attack, they also play tricks. They can lull ships into a false sense of security with calm periods, only to unleash their fury again without warning. In an instant, a rogue wave can rise from a seemingly peaceful sea and break a ship in half like a twig. Even if a ship survives the initial hit, the waves can keep attacking for hours or even days, wearing it down, draining the crew's spirit, and slowly pulling it towards its doom. The colossal force exerted by massive waves significantly impacts even the formidable U.S. Navy aircraft carrier. These giants of the sea, while incredibly powerful and technologically advanced, can be thrown around by enormous waves like toys. The force of the water slamming against the hull can make it difficult to steer and maintain a straight course, significantly increasing the risk of the ship tipping over. Aircraft carriers aren't just floating fortresses. They're vital tools for projecting power and providing crucial support. Their ability to launch and recover aircraft from their expansive flight decks makes them a cornerstone of any nation's military might. Think of them as floating airbases, capable of striking targets far inland from the safety of the ocean. But they're not just for war. These ships also play crucial roles in humanitarian missions, providing medical aid, disaster relief, and support in times of crisis. To an untrained eye, these steel behemoths might seem precariously balanced, like a knife on edge. Their sharp hulls, designed to cut through waves, could be mistaken for a sign of instability and the massive superstructure jutting out from one side of the flight deck might look like it's just waiting to topple the whole ship over. But don't be fooled by appearances. Centuries of naval engineering have gone into crafting these marvels of the sea. Their seemingly lopsided design is actually carefully calculated to ensure stability, making them some of the steadiest platforms in even the roughest waters. Keeping a giant aircraft carrier stable isn't just a matter of engineering prowess, it's a matter of life and death. Thousands of sailors call these ships home, and an unstable vessel could turn into a floating disaster zone. Imagine heavy machinery, planes, and even entire sections of the ship lurching and crashing around as a monstrous wave slams into the hull. The potential for injuries and catastrophic damage is immense. Thankfully, the Navy takes stability very seriously. They've developed strict protocols, cutting-edge engineering, and innovative designs to ensure these floating cities stay upright even in the roughest seas. So, let's dive into some of the reasons why monster waves can't sink the Navy's biggest aircraft carriers. Maintaining balance in the depths. Imagine dropping a pebble in a bowl of water. It sinks, right? 
But what if you had a big hollow sponge instead? That would float. That's the basic principle behind any object, including ships, staying afloat. The secret sauce is called buoyancy. This invisible force, discovered by the ancient Greek genius Archimedes, acts like an underwater cheerleader, pushing any object in water upwards. Gravity, of course, is the party pooper, pulling everything downwards. But when the buoyancy force wins the tug of war, the object floats. That's exactly how aircraft carriers, and most ships for that matter, manage to stay above water. Even though they have those pointy prows that make them look like they could tip over any minute, there's more to the story. The flatness of the flight deck, which earned aircraft carriers the nickname flat tops, only adds to the illusion of instability. But don't be fooled by their sharp appearances. Underneath the water, the story changes. The hull, instead of being a knife-like blade, actually spreads out and becomes quite wide. Think of it like a hidden underwater counterweight. This wider base ensures the buoyancy force pushes evenly from below. No more one-sided pushes that could tip the ship over. In fact, a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, one of the biggest boys in the Navy, is a whopping 134 feet wide at its widest point under the water. That's almost as wide as a football field. Another thing you should be aware of is something called the center of gravity, which is like the ship's balancing point. The lower the center of gravity, the harder it is to tip over. That's why the U.S. Navy keeps all the heavy stuff, like machinery, equipment, and even fuel, on the lower levels of their ships. Doing this makes the whole ship more stable. But it's not just about randomly tossing things in the bottom. Navy engineers are like master builders with giant Lego sets. They carefully calculate the placement of everything on the ship, from the anchors to the airplanes, to ensure the center of gravity stays nice and low. They even consider how adding new equipment or changing layouts might affect the ship's balance. Think of it like a giant seesaw. If one side is loaded down with heavy weights, it stays grounded. But if you put too much weight on the other side, it tips up. The Navy engineers are constantly adjusting the weights on their ship's seesaw to make sure it stays level and glides smoothly through the waves. The efficiency of the bulbous bow. For centuries, shipbuilders thought the best way to make boats faster and more fuel efficient was to give them a sharp knife-like bow. This design, they believed, cut through the water like a hot knife through butter, reducing drag. But in the early 1900s, things got interesting. Designers started experimenting with a strange, bulbous protrusion on the bow. It looked like it would just slow ships down, right? But here's the twist. The bulbous bow actually helped. It created a special wave that canceled out the wave the ship itself made, smoothing the water flow and reducing drag. This revolutionary design wasn't just an idea. It became reality. Starting in the 1920s, ships with bulbous bows began to sail the seas, including the infamous Japanese battleship Yamato. Despite its massive size, Yamato's bulbous bow helped it reach an impressive top speed of 28 knots. And the U.S. Navy? They're big fans of bulbous bows, too. Since the USS Ronald Reagan, every aircraft carrier they've built has sported this fuel-saving feature. You'll see it on the newest Ford-class carriers like the USS Gerald R. Ford, and it will be a part of future ships like the John F. Kennedy, Enterprise, and Doris Miller. Even amphibious assault ships like the Wasp and America classes and destroyers like the Arleigh Burke and Zumwalt classes all benefit from the efficiency of the bulbous bow. Watertight Fortresses U.S. aircraft carriers are like fortresses on water, designed to withstand even the fiercest attacks and storms. They achieve this incredible resilience through a clever trick, dividing the ship into hundreds of watertight compartments, each like a separate sealed room. Think of these compartments like individual rooms in a house. But for a ship, each one is sealed off from the next, creating a maze of separate spaces within the giant hull. This design has a crucial purpose, to prevent the entire ship from sinking if one compartment gets damaged. Let's say a storm rips through or an enemy attack strikes. One compartment might get flooded, 
but the watertight doors slam shut, stopping the water from spreading to the rest of the ship. This is like closing the door on a leaky room in your house, keeping the rest of the place dry. And here's the beauty of this design. It's incredibly difficult to sink an aircraft carrier with watertight compartments. Even if a significant portion of the ship gets damaged, the remaining compartments keep it afloat. Of course, no ship is invincible, and catastrophic damage could ultimately sink even a mighty carrier. But the watertight compartment system makes it incredibly resilient. Fin stabilizers and gyroscopic innovations. Beneath the mighty steel hulls of the US Navy's warships lies a secret weapon. Not guns, not missiles, but a pair of invisible wings. These are fin stabilizers, the Navy's answer to the ocean's relentless fury. Just like fighter jets rely on ailerons to navigate the turbulent skies, these adjustable fins fight the constant rolling and pitching of rough seas. Without fin stabilizers, the deck would tilt and sway in the face of a massive wave, throwing off aim and making a mission impossible. But with these underwater wings, the ship becomes a steady gun platform. The fins, tucked away just beneath the waterline, sense the slightest roll and pitch, then adjust with lightning speed, pushing back against the waves and keeping the deck level. This stability is not just a matter of comfort for the crew. It's about lethality. Modern Navy ships carry an arsenal of weapons, from pinpoint accurate missiles to long-range cannons. But aiming these weapons effectively in rough seas is like trying to hit a bullseye blindfolded on a roller coaster. Fin stabilizers change the game. They allow the Navy to launch missiles and fire cannons with deadly precision even in the stormiest conditions. But the benefits go beyond just fighting wars. Fin stabilizers also play a crucial role in search and rescue operations. In disaster zones or during natural calamities, the Navy's ships often become lifelines for those in need. But a rocking vessel can make it difficult to deploy rescue boats or land helicopters. Fin stabilizers once again come to the rescue, providing a stable platform for critical operations. This technology is not just about brute force. It's about adaptability and precision. It's about harnessing the power of the ocean to the Navy's advantage, turning its wrath into a tool for safety and security. Modern Navy ships also have another secret weapon against the ocean's wrath, and this is known as gyroscopic stabilizers. The stabilizer comprises a vacuum-sealed sphere housing a high-speed flywheel spinning at approximately 10,700 revolutions per minute. This rapid motion creates a powerful force called angular momentum, which acts like an invisible hand, pushing and pulling the ship to maintain its balance, even in the roughest seas. But the magic doesn't stop there. A smart computer system constantly monitors the ship's tilt and fine-tunes the gyroscope's position, ensuring maximum stability in any sea condition. It's like having a miniature captain constantly adjusting the sails to keep the ship level, no matter how the waves toss it around. But even the best balanced ship can get caught off guard. That's where self-writing vessels come in. In the realm of naval innovation, there's a growing emphasis on the development of this type of vessel. Imagine boats with the ability to autonomously write themselves after capsizing. This is a technological feat that holds particular significance for the U.S. Navy. This innovation proves invaluable for smaller crafts, like the rigid hull inflatable boats, swiftly enabling them to self-write and resume operations in the face of unexpected rollovers amidst tumultuous seas. Self-writing vehicles incorporate features such as weighted keels, bottom ballast tanks, or angled hulls, designed to impart a stabilizing force once the boat surpasses a specific angle during a capsize. When a capsizing event is detected, onboard computers promptly activate pumps to manage water distribution between tanks, facilitating the natural writing process and mitigating potential damage. Sailors, engineers, and the art of naval maintenance. At the end of the day, the human element is crucial. The Navy trains its sailors to be experts in navigating rough seas and responding to emergencies. Their skill and experience combined with the ship's advanced technology make a formidable team against even the most monstrous waves. But the Navy's might isn't just about weathering storms. 
To ensure constant readiness, a dedicated team of engineers and technicians works tirelessly behind the scenes. Like the unsung heroes of a play, they meticulously clean, paint, repair, and upgrade every inch of the ship. Every bolt tightened, every circuit tested, is a silent promise of safety and efficiency. Their dedication ensures that when the call to action comes, the Navy's aircraft carriers are more than just steel giants. They are instruments of precision and power, ready to fulfill their mission. The Sailor's Maintenance Regimen encompasses two primary categories, which are preventative maintenance and corrective maintenance. Preventative maintenance, often referred to as the planned maintenance system, is the art of staying ahead of potential issues. This involves crucial tasks such as lubricating machinery, correcting fluid levels, conducting functional tests, performing visual inspections, and measuring vibrations. In essence, preventative maintenance ensures that every component, down to the smallest nut and bolt, is precisely where it should be. Corrective maintenance, on the other hand, becomes necessary when a ship encounters a failure, malfunction, or damage. This facet involves the repair and restoration of onboard equipment. Operating ships is undoubtedly expensive, and these costs can soar in the event of equipment breakdowns at sea, prompting emergency repairs. Hence, the implementation of preventative maintenance not only helps control operating costs, but also diminishes the likelihood of equipment failures that could lead to potentially catastrophic events, such as capsizing. Beyond the daily tune-ups and routine checks, Dry docking and overhaul maintenance are also conducted. Dry docking is like lifting a car onto a giant mechanics platform. But for a ship, it involves taking the vessel out of the water and into a special basin where its hull, propellers, and rudder are revealed. These submerged parts get a thorough inspection. Paint gets refreshed, barnacles get evicted, and any dents or cracks get patched up, ensuring the hull remains smooth and strong. Overhaul maintenance, on the other hand, is like opening up the engine hood and giving everything a close look. Each system, from the electrical circuits to the propulsion machinery, gets disassembled, inspected, repaired, and reassembled, ensuring every cog and circuit hums in perfect harmony. It's like a complete body scan for the ship, identifying any internal weaknesses and giving them the attention they deserve. But why all this effort? Because out at sea, there's no room for surprises. A leaky hull, a sputtering engine, or a malfunctioning system can quickly turn a routine mission into a fight for survival. Dry docking and overhaul maintenance help to prevent these nightmares, ensuring everything is in top shape before the ship ventures into the unpredictable ocean. Navigating the unpredictable ocean with advanced forecasting. But avoiding trouble is just as important as fixing it. The Navy isn't one to sail blindly into storms. They meticulously analyze weather patterns and plot their routes to avoid stormy waters and treacherous typhoons. But even the best plans can encounter unexpected squalls or hidden reefs. That's where advanced weather forecasting comes in. Advanced weather forecasting and real-time monitoring systems show the ocean's future moods. With sophisticated technology and skilled meteorologists, the Navy can anticipate and navigate around rough patches, keeping their ships and crew safe even when the sea throws tantrums. Satellite technology takes center stage in monitoring oceanic weather conditions, with specialized meteorological and tracking satellites strategically orbiting Earth's poles. These satellites diligently gather a comprehensive array of data, including details on clouds, air composition, water temperature, currents, dust storms, and ice coverage. This wealth of information empowers the U.S. Navy crew to conduct expansive weather pattern analyzes across vast areas, spot potential storms, and map out safe passage. The Navy doesn't just rely on satellites for a bird's eye view. Scattered across the globe, like silent sentinels, are over 1,000 weather buoys. These floating outposts tirelessly measure winds, waves, barometric pressure, and even air and sea temperatures. This data isn't just numbers, it's the pulse of the ocean, revealing the formation and dissipation of hurricanes, the strength of wind circulation, and even the location of their eye. With this knowledge, the Navy can plot their course through the stormiest seas with confidence. But data alone isn't enough. The Navy wields the power of advanced environmental models, like the Joint Typhoon Warning Center models and WaveWatch 3. 
these sophisticated tools take the raw data from satellites, buoys, and weather stations and weave them into a tapestry of the future. They predict the ocean's next move, simulating the dance of winds and waves, forecasting potential storms, and charting safe passage through the ever-changing seas. The ocean might roar, waves might tower, and storms might rage, but the U.S. Navy's giants of steel stand unbowed. We've explored the secrets of their resilience, from the silent dance of gyroscopes to the tireless watch of weather buoys. We've seen the meticulous hand of maintenance keeping every bolt in place, and the cunning mind of navigation charting a course through the ocean's fury. But the true strength of the Navy lies not just in its technology, but in its people. The sailors who weather the storms, the engineers who mend the wounds, and the captains who read the ocean's whispers, these are the heart and soul of a Navy that refuses to be defeated.